today we will start with an example, very famous one, uh, you do it in complex analysis also, it is called the stereographic projection. What is, so you, what do you do here? So, you have the unit sphere, this is the north pole, this is the south pole. So, this is S2, right? This surface is S2. We denote it by S2. What does stereography position does? Okay. You look at it in the other way around. Take any point P on the plane, Yz, xy plane. You join it through to North Pole. So, that will intersect except the North Pole, that will intersect any other point Q. Okay. And the points, so all the points which are outside this sphere, they will be mapped to the northern hemisphere. So, if you take a point here, that will go here and the points inside, they will be mapped here, inside the thing. So, such a thing is called, so this map, now other way map, so any point on the sphere will be mapped to a point in the plane except the north pole. So, north pole I have to remove. So, you consider my surface now S2 minus north pole, north pole is 0, 0, 1. Then this map Q going to P, this is called stereography projection. So, Q in S2 goes to P in xy plane. the use of this you do it in atlas. When you do our cartography, if you want to put the world map into, so, so world map is a surface globe, but you want to, so it is a globe, but you want to draw it on a paper, then that is what you do, stereography position. Let us do the cal calculations here, what does, wh how does this map looks like. So, what I have here? So, if I look at this point Q, if I look at this line, Q minus n, this line, this vector and this vector, they are proportional, right? They are on the same line. So, Q minus the north pole, this will be some constant time P minus north pole, correct? They are on the same line for some rho. Some constant depending on Q and P. So, what happens to Q now? Q is, so I am trying to find out the coordinates actually, plus rho u v 0 minus rho 0 0 1. So, which is actually rho u rho v 1 minus rho. This is the coordinate of q in terms of rho, but q lies on S 2. So, I must have rho square u square rho square v square plus 1 minus rho square square equal to 1. So, that will give me rho equal to 2 by 1 plus u square plus v square. If you expand, that is what you will get, right? This will be rho square here. So, uh, what is to happens to q now? What is the coordinate of q? q is u by 
1 plus u square plus v square 2 u 2 v from here right 1 plus u square plus v square and then uh, u square plus v square minus 1 divided by 1 plus u square plus v square. This goes to u v 0. So, this is the stereographic position. Okay. If I write down this picture coordinate wise, this will happen. So, q belongs to some sigma 1 u v of the surface patch, a patch on S 2 minus n and the plane p point belongs to the single surface patch u v sigma 2 which is u v 0. Okay. Let us see the relation between first fundamental form of sigma 1 and first fundamental form of sigma 2. Okay. Okay, then I have to calculate all those quantities sigma 1 u this will be 2 into v square minus u square. So, you do the calculation yourself u square plus v square plus 1 square minus 4 u v u square plus v square plus 1 whole square and then I think 4 u what was it? Yeah, 2 yes 4 u u square plus v square plus 1 whole square. I have to calculate sigma 1 v also that will have a similar expression 4 u v u square plus v square plus 1 whole square minus 2 u square minus v square plus 1 this time same denominator and here I have will have 4 v u square plus v square plus 1 whole square. So, I have to calculate E 1 which is norm of sigma 1 u square. You do it <laughs> what you will have is 4 v square minus u square plus uh, sorry minus 1 plus 16 u square v square plus 16 v square divided by u square plus v square plus 1 whole square. You calculate f 1 will be 0 and you calculate g 1 this will be same as e 1. So, f f f of sigma 1 this will be 1 by 4 u square plus v square plus 1 whole square d u square d v square. So, you have to do this calculation. So, recall this is e 1. So, this fellow is e 1 d u square 2 f 1 d u d v plus g 1 d v square and this fellow is what? This is precisely first fundamental form of plane, right. So, what you get? F f of sigma 1 is some multiple of first fundamental form of sigma 2 and that multiple is not 1. So, they are not equal. So, immediately from previous theorem, last day's theorem stereography position
is not an isometric. Okay, because the isometry then has to be same. So this is usual because if you take a long curve on the plane, that will be wrapped on the under inverse map of stereographic position will be wrapped on the sphere. So length cannot be preserved. If you think of intuitively, length of curves cannot be preserved through this map. But what I have that f f one of sigma one is proportional. That is a multiple of f f of sigma two, first fundamental form of sigma two. Of so the first fundamental form of sphere is proportional to first fundamental form of plane, and such a map is called conformal. This is not the definition. Definition I make in the next page. What it does that if from suppose I have a diffeomorphism between surfaces that preserves angle. What is that? That is if gamma 1 and gamma 1 tilde are two curves uh, on S 1 intersecting at P, and gamma 2 and gamma 2 tilde curves on S 1, curves on S 2 intersecting at P and of course, I would have gamma 2 is f of gamma 1, gamma 2 tilde is f of gamma 2. Then cos q theta equal to cos p theta. What does it mean? What is the angle between gamma 1? So, the, that is the angle between ang, what is the angle between gamma 1 and gamma 2? That is the angle between their tangent vectors, right. And similarly here. So, if I have a curve here on the surface, suppose they are intersecting so here is the curve, here is the curve, gamma 1, gamma 1 tilde, here is the point Q. So, angle between these two is angle between their tangent vector. This is mapped to some other curves here and here the length is not preserved, but their cos of the angles of the tangent vector that is preserved. Okay. So, angle between two curves are preserved. Such a map is called conformal. What is happening for this one? So, let us do it for the stereographic projection. What is happening here? So, let us take gamma 1 and gamma 1 tilde on S 2 minus n intersecting at Q. What I was trying to explain on the board. Okay. So, let us take gamma t some parameterization sigma 1 u t v t and gamma 1 tilde sigma 1 u tilde t v tilde t. Theta the angle between gamma 1 dot t not gamma 1 tilde dot t not at some t not some point t not. 
ok. Then what is cos theta? Just draw it here without the surface. If I have any surface patch, I have a curve here, I have a curve here, they are intersecting. This is the tangent here, this is the tangent here, this is theta. So, cos theta I can find out as how do you define cos theta? It is precisely gamma dot, gamma tilde dot, definition of angle, right? Gamma dot, norm of gamma dot, norm of gamma tilde dot. But on the other hand, you also have gamma dot is sigma u u dot plus sigma v v dot. Similarly, gamma tilde dot is sigma u u tilde dot sigma v v tilde dot. So, that will give us, let us do it gamma dot gamma tilde dot equal to, if we can calculate this inner product here, inner product with this and this. So, you will see what will, what comes up is sigma u square u dot u tilde dot first term, next term is sigma u sigma v u dot cross term v tilde dot plus u tilde dot v dot plus um, sigma v square last term you see this into this. So, that will be v dot v tilde dot. But then it is what? This is E 1 u dot u tilde dot f So, the f terms on first fundamental forms E u e 1 f 1 and g 1 are appearing here. So, what will be cos theta? Cos theta is this term divided by, I have to not divide by norms, right? E 1 u dot square 2 f u dot v dot plus g v dot square half e 1 e 1 u tilde dot square 2 f 1 u tilde dot v tilde dot plus g 1 g 1 v tilde v tilde dot square power half. So, if I write down this expression cos theta will be in terms of first fundamental form with this. Now, suppose this I leave it in exercise f f of sigma 1 is proportional to f f of sigma 2. Then exercise angles are preserved. Under diffeomorphism which takes sigma two diffeomorphism f such that f two is f sigma one. So, if the surface patch is backed by a diffeomorphism to sigma two and this happens that so, what is the exercise? If I have a map f such that sigma 2 surface pair sigma 1 goes to sigma 2 under f and the first fundamental form of sigma 1 and first fundamental form of sigma 2 are proportional, they are not equal, then these angles are preserved because you will have cos theta equal to what you have to show that for this map also 
you will have the same cos theta that is what you have to show. So, that is a calculation and I request you to do the calculation and finally, I can then write down the theorem. A diffeomorphism f from S1 to S2 is conformal if and only if for each surface patch sigma. 1 on S 1, f f first fundamental form of sigma 1 and first fundamental form of f compose sigma 1, what happened in the last example, which I told you to calculate are proportional. One way is easy, other way is the calculation I indicated. So, that is about the conformal map. So, you get confirmed you have two maps now one that preserves length of the curves is an isometry and another is conformal maps. We will see how to do what to do with these two maps on the geometry of surfaces in the next two lectures. Thank you.